it's all lost. Hey Patrick here, welcome to this episode of The Age of Courage. In this video I want to share with you four ways in which you are choosing mediocrity. Don't believe me? Let me prove it. But first I just want to clarify that this is not just about you. Just about everyone in their lives at some point chooses mediocrity. Whether you're conscious or not, you chose to stay in the situation you're in. This way you would not experience more disappointment. Just like Thor did in Avengers Endgame. The reason you stay in bad jobs and bad relationships is that you become used to them. We tend to trust what we are used to. Predictability brings peace of mind. For Thor, after failing to stop Thanos from making half of the population of the universe disappear, he chose to live a very depressed, very human kind of life. By the time Banner and the others found him, he was already consumed by liters of beer and hours of Fortnite, two of the most common addictions of our time. Sounds familiar? He lost his confidence and he's stuck in a life that he got used to for five years. The second reason you choose mediocrity is because it's attractive. Why? Because most people live that way. And when you stop trying to change your life, you no longer stand out. You blend in. See, Thor displays more and more the attitude of a regular depressed human who's been hurt and is going through remorse and desperation. And everyone seems to be okay with that. Five years after Thanos' victory left everyone else in that same state. Sadly for Thor, he goes from badass superhero to depressed human. And that, that is real life. Only he woke up when he was encountered with his friends, heroes who haven't given up. The third reason you choose mediocrity is that it seems the most logical thing to do. See, common sense makes us believe that any big undertaking is just a fantasy. That dreaming big is only deceiving ourselves. And what was Thor's attitude? To him it was pointless to keep fighting. His understanding of the world was deeply shaken. Killing the villain didn't bring everyone back from the disaster we all witnessed. What made more sense was to give up. That's what most of us would have done. Number four is that mediocrity protects us from failure. Everyone hates failure. It's just, it's shameful, humiliating and embarrassing. It just hurts. That's why we choose to be safe. However, as you can see in Endgame, the cost of safety is very high. For our favorite Asgardian, safety meant to stop being a superhero, to surrender to depression, to accept that none of his friends will come back from the snap to pretend that he, he can go on with his life. And these moments are so shocking because in a matter of seconds, Thor made the biggest mistake in his life. He should have gone for the head. He isn't going to allow himself to fail ever again and disappoint everyone. So how do you abandon mediocrity? I have three tips that are going to take you back to the Avengers. Number one is to explore what you don't know. For Thor, it was to give the quantum realm a shot. The point is to break the cycle, to believe there's hope and try something new. He had to leave New Asgard, he had to join the Avengers and take a chance to yet again save the world. Number two is to seek validation in your role models instead of those people who also live in mediocrity. Who do you admire? Do your friends have goals? Don't let everyone's opinion define you, only those of people you trust. And what was the motto the Avengers chose for their ultimate challenge? Whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. Thor was surrounded by superheroes like himself. They also faced defeat, lost their loved ones, and failed to themselves and the universe, but never gave up. So if Banner could do it, and Natasha, and Steve Rogers, he could do it too. Number three is know that you might fail, but it's worth a try. Look, no matter how confident you are, you might fail. For Thor and the Avengers, their chances of failing were really high. When they traveled to the past, Banner did everything to convince the Wise Wine to give up the Time Stone. The Avengers lost the Space Stone to Loki. The stakes were the highest, but they had the determination to save the world. Having a goal that awakens that unstoppable confidence is what's going to make you abandon mediocrity. Not because you're going to succeed the first time, but because of having the courage to take a chance and overcome the toughest times. And that's how we see our defeated superheroes return to the battlefield and accomplish the impossible. Defeat Thanos and his army. So tell me, what is your goal? Leave a comment below sharing your goal. And to enjoy more amazing content, please subscribe to my channel.